हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी आर लर्निंग वन मोर न्यू इंटरेस्टेड थिंग इन एस एस फोर आना सोर्सिंग एंड प्रोक्यूरमेंट दैट इज योर फ्लेक्सिबल वर्क फ्लो स्टेप बाय स्टेप वी आर गोइंग टू बी एक्सप्लोर हाउ टू मैनेज अ फ्लेक्सिबल वर्क फ्लो फॉर अ परचेसिंग डॉक्यूमेंट like purchase requisition purchase order contracts request for quotation so there are the some steps which we need to be follow for the flexible workflow configuration here so today we are learning how to activate a scenario for the flexible workflow and to activate a flexible workflow for pr and po document type here yeah. so first of all so we'll explore you so sap has given the standard flexible workflow scenario id so by using that scenario id we have to activate that scenario for the overall purchase requisition for the item level release for the purchase requisition for the purchase order for the workflow for the rfq and for the contract so these are the standard scenario id which is given by the sap so one by one we are going to be explore how to activate this scenario id for the our purchasing document so let's discuss about this for the purchase requisition of us so we can able to release a purchase requisition by the two way like at a overall release otherwise we can go for the item level release here so these are the two scenario ids which is given by the sap here so how to activate this scenario id let's jump to the system so for that we have to jumping for the configuration about your purchasing here so we can use the olme transaction where we can jump for the purchasing configuration directly then we have to jump for the purchase requisition here so go to the purchase requisition then we have to go for the flexible workflow for the purchase requisition so before that in acc we are discussing about the release procedure which is the classic release strategy but in sap s4 ana we are going with the flexible workflow so sap has given the few steps so one by one we are going to be exploring what are these steps for the activating the flexible workflow here so go for the flexible workflow for the purchase requisition there we get the option for the scenario activation for the pr click on it here so here whatever the scenario id which is given by the sap standards so we have to check that scenario id so as we have mentioned here for the overall purchase requisition so this is the scenario id so this copy that scenario id which is uh, ws0 2004458 this is the scenario id for the purchase requisition so you have to click on a new entries and enter that scenario id and you have to click on to that activation here so for that already that scenario id for the purchase requisition it's activated here 458 ws 2 triple 0 458 which is activated for the overall release for the purchase requisition again the second id for your item level release that is ws 02200470 so this is for the item level just copy it go to the again same part and here for the item level release that id also actually activated here ws 2200470 so this is how we can able to activate a scenario for the item level release as well as the overall release for the purchase requisition if it's not there go to the new entries enter that id number and click on activate as here is already activated system is showing like that it's already existing here if it's not there come here enter that id and we have to activate this scenario for the purchase requisition similarly next that we have to activate a flexible workflow at a document level so below there is a second step activate 
a flexible workflow for the purchase equation. Click on it here, then search our document type. So we are using the customized document type as a ZNB, which is the customized document type for the purchase equation. And if you want to go with the overall release purchase equation, it's a similar to your ECC. If you are going with the overall release, you have to check this box. If you are going with a scenario based workflow, then you have to mark this both checkbox for your customized document type for the purchase equation. If you are going with the overall, it is mandatory to check on this. If it's going with the item label, then uncheck this box for the overall release here. So this is how we can able to activate a scenario and we have to activate a flexible workflow for the purchase equation. Similarly, now we have to go for the purchase order scenario activation and flexible workflow activation at a document type. So here again, we have to go for purchase order. Then we have to go for flexible workflow for the purchase order. So click on it here. Then we will get the option for the scenario activation for the purchase order. Click on it. Then copy the standard scenario ID. That is WS008002038, which is for the workflow or scenario ID for the purchase order here. Then go to the system here. Already that ID is activated for the purchase order. So if it's not there, go to the inventory, enter that ID number, and we have to activate that scenario for the flexible workflow for the purchase order. Okay. And then finally, we have to go for activate a flexible workflow for the purchase order. So for our customized document type, we have to activate that flexible workflow. So here, it is also the scenario based workflow. Search our customized document type. Other, if you can go with the standard, that is also possible. Let me show you for the standard. For this standard, you have to check on the scenario based workflow. Otherwise, for the custom document type, said NBT. Again, you can come here and we have to activate that scenario based workflow. So we have to just save this data and our scenario activation and flexible workflow for the document level we have activated. So these are the two steps are very important before configuring the flexible workflow into the SAP S4 HANA sourcing and procurement. So for the understand the next steps in the flexible workflow, please like share and subscribe youtube channel and to learn more interesting thing in sap s4 ana please visit our website www.taxskills.com thank you